Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghu here. In this class, we'll, we are going to discuss about cryptanalysis attacks. In our last class, we clearly discussed our, about our fast cryptography technique called additive cipher. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. So in this class, we will give you an overview of what are the attacks, cryptanalysis attacks and how they will be. It, it's just an overview. So if you want a clear understanding with example, in our coming classes, we are going to discuss with examples. You will get clear idea how we are going to use this cryptanalysis attacks and all those things. Here we are going to provide the overview. If you are not good at understanding proper understanding about the cryptanalysis attacks just overview understand the concepts whatever the way you like you will get good clarity in our coming classes now coming to before we move on to cryptanalysis attacks first we understand what is meant by cryptanalysis cryptography means to create secret codes this is what we have done in our previous classes we hide the information creating the secret data which is hiding the actual information the same thing cryptanalysis means to break the secret codes that is what cryptanalysis means so the different cryptanalysis attacks which we are going to face is the first one is cipher text only attack and the next one is known plain text attack next chosen plain text attack and chosen cipher text attack so what are these four possibilities how we are going how what's these attacks are will be discussed in a minute before we move on to the cryptanalysis attacks first you need to understand one important point cryptography algorithms are open to all what do, what's that mean open to all in our last class we clearly discussed about the additive cipher what's the logic in encryption we have done addition modulo in decryption we have done subtraction modulo means the logic is known suppose if i know that you are using additive cipher technique for crypto for encryption and decryption the logic is known to me whatever the cryptography algorithms that are used that are used that are available in the market what's the logic it's known to everyone but the difficulty is but the difficulty they are going to provide here is uh, but identifying the key is difficult that is the difficulty they are providing in cryptography algorithms what is key these basics we discussed in our last class in when we discussed about the additive cipher technique why identifying the key is difficult you, you are going to understand step by step uh, in our coming classes this is what they are providing means uh, the cryptanalysis attackers their in their idea is to identify the key that is what their idea is because logic is known to all which technique you are using if he knows he will know the logic if you are using additive cipher he knows the logic now coming to the cryptography cryptanalysis attacks the first one is cipher text only attack what what's this cipher text only attack means uh, this is the source mobile and this is the destination mobile this example we are using from the previous classes uh, source mobile will encrypt from plain text to the cipher text cipher text moved on the internet the hackers are staying here and they will take your cipher text they collected some cipher text from you that is what cipher text only attack because they can stay here they can only access your cipher text from the internet so by looking at that cipher text is he able to identify the key or he is he able to identify some way to convert that cipher text to plain text by taking only that cipher text and analyzing that is what we call it as cipher text only attack in this we have as of now we are discussing two methods first one is brute force attack second one is statistical attack 
what is meant by brute force attack means once he identifies the cipher text on that cipher text he is going to apply different possible keys that is what brute force attack means he will apply all the possible keys on your cipher text and convert to plain text which one is giving the valuable information that he consider it as a key so that's why that's why whenever we are designing the cryptography techniques uh, applying all the keys it should not be possible that is how our key should be these points are very very important that is how we have to think when we are designing the cryptography techniques so that is what brute force attack means second one is statistical attack statistical attack means it language frequency characters I mean suppose if you take english english e is mostly used character in english it's 25% of the time we are going to use character e in english by taking by looking at the cipher text the most frequently used character he consider it as e this is one of the way that's why statistical attack are mostly used two or three letter words e is in the based on this he tries to understand the characters and he tries to understand from this characters he is he able to identify the key all this thing he he tries to analyze the crypt cipher text that's why crypt analysis attacks by taking the cipher text he will do all those things how difficult your technique and how difficult your key the attackers can do that's the complexity we have to provide for cryptography techniques the second one is non plain text attack suppose if you are hacker think you are a hacker and somehow you collected some plain text and cipher text pairs then using that plain text and cipher text pairs you try to analyze the logic and the key from that cipher text and plain text pairs because you collected some 10 to 20 cipher text and plain text pairs suppose hello is converted to wtwop in our last class llp or something you, you collect some like that hello how are you good like that using this pairs is it possible to identify some logic some way you can identify the message that is what known plain text attack the second third one is chosen plain text attack suppose suppose what is the difference between known plain text and chosen plain text here most of them will get confused you have to understand it properly chosen plain text attack means somehow you have access to the source mobile means the application which you are using to send the messages is present in the source mobile and the destination mobile somehow you got some access to the source mobile you are going to use that application chosen plain text means you decide the plain text you give some plain text and what cipher text you are getting from this plain text you will collect those pairs you had the access to the source mobile that's why you collect you choose the plain text here you don't have access to the source mobile somehow you got the plain text and cipher text using that you are do, going to do here you are choosing the plain text means you got some option you you test like this you e e e e what output you are going to get e e e e what output you are going to get frequently used characters are is 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 what output you are going to get you choose the plain text and you collect the cipher text from the source mobile but you are not able to identify the key from the source mobile why you are not able to identify the key from the source mobile because keys are shared between the applications you cannot go inside the that key is not shown to you even though if you open the application key is not visible for you it is shared between the applications key is generated which key is generated we don't know 
सम की इज जनरेटेड गिव द प्लेन टेक्स्ट गेट द साइफर टेक्स्ट कलेक्ट द स्पेस एंड आइडेंटिफाई द की दैट इज व्हाट दे विल डू इन द चोजन प्लेन टेक्स्ट अटैक similarly somehow you are you are going to have access for the destination mobile so in the destination mobile what happens give the cipher text and get the plain text decryption goes on here so that's a chosen cipher text attack here you had the possibility to choose the cipher text different cipher text you choose and what plain text you are getting from that cipher text like that you tried multiple ways and identify the logics identify the key that is what chose and plain text attack so these are the different types of attacks you are going to get on crypt analysis attacks hope you understand these concepts if you have any questions regarding the concept please post your questions in the comment section below thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you